Hello. This is a demonstration on how to integrate IBM DB2 to NeuralSeq. NeuralSeq AI is a no-code integration platform that helps businesses get to the market fast with generative AI use cases. It makes it very easy for you to integrate IBM Watson X assistant, assistant to large language models such as uh, ChatGPT or IBM Watson. In addition, we have connectors built to popular data sources such as IBM DB2, allowing you to communicate to um, DB2 in a natural language and respond back in a natural language. Next, I'll dive into the demonstration on how to integrate IBM to DB2. I'll be using so some software called NeuralSeq Maestro. This is a feature of NeuralSeq. And then I'll give a demonstration of how you can take this uh, NeuralSeq Maestro template and export it and integrate it into IBM Watson X Assistant. And then how you can do also, also how you can make some queries um, from uh, IBM Watson X Assistant, X Assistant into DB2 using NeuralSeq. So this is the uh, NeuralSeq uh, user interface. I'm on the Maestro tab. A Maestro is the software that we use to build integrations to data sources such as DB2. And what you're looking at here is a DB2 template that I've pre-built. And the DB2 integration itself is done using this DB2 co database connector card. And in the connector card, it, we, it makes it very easily for a user to integrate to DB2. They just need to know the settings of the DB2 um, software they wish to, DB2 database they wish to integrate to. If you're not familiar with these settings, simply contact your DBA, DBA administrator and they'll help you fill these out, but it should be very easily and straightforward if you've worked with the DB2 relational database before. So um, the, data, the, the cards around this is what we call um, a template and the cards around, DB2 is definitely the center of this template and all these cards around it are for two things, it's to prepare the, DB2, the query for the DB2 database and also to convert the response from the DB2 database in a natural language. So the first thing what I'm doing is I'm telling the large language model uh, what to extract from the user's uh, query that they type into the chatbot. So basically saying, if you detect a product, a manufacturer, a model, a price, a type and the dimensions of the appliances to, um, to parse this out and store these in JSON variables these JSON variables will then be used to populate a SQL query. Um, and then in my case, they'll be used in the where clause. And then uh, the DB2 will respond back with a response and then we'll send the response to an LLM to, to, to make it more natural language than what DB2 is. So I can actually test out my queries here. So before I integrate to Watson X Assistant, I can make sure my template's work, working. And what I'll do here is I'll say, uh, do you have any Samsung TVs in stock? I'll hit evaluate. And then NeuralSeq is going to run and it's going to notice that it, it detected Samsung as a manufacturer. And now it's generating, um, this is basically the response from DB2. And this is in uh, a natural language format. If I want, I can go into the debugger and look at exactly what is happening. So we can see that this is the, the instructions I sent to the large language model. These are what I told it to parse, parse from the user's query. And then this is the actual query that was generated, that NeuralSeq generated and sent to DB2. This is what DB2 responded back with, the result set. And then finally, I told the, I sent the result set to the large language model and it, was, it formatted it in a very uh, easily, uh, uh, easily to read format. And then, um, once I'm happy with this template, I'm, I've got it the way I want it, I can simply export this template out using the, uh, the uh, export function in the uh, NeuralSeq. And what this will do is it'll create a JSON template that you can easily integrate to software such as in the IBM Watson X Assistant. Next, I'm gonna go to IBM Watson X Assistant, and I've basically, I've already loaded this uh, DB2 template into um, this uh, Watson X Assistant, and I can do the same query in here. So basically, let's say I'll do the same thing. Do you have any um, 
Samsung TVs in stock. And what's going to happen when I hit um, return is that this query is going to be sent to Watson, sorry, NeuralSeq. And NeuralSeq is going to detect the intentions of this query. It's going to notice that the manufacturer is Samsung and it's also interested in televisions. And then, so basically, it sent this to DB2. DB2 found these uh, Samsung televisions that were in stock and it was, it was returned a very long list of all the Samsung televisions that are in stock. Let's say um, I have very limited space and I only could fit like a 55 inch TV. So I'll say like, do you uh, have any that fit the dimensions 50 by 30? So basically I have limited space. Notice I don't put Samsung in the, in the query here. One of the nice things about IBM Watson X Assistant is that it remembers the previous context. So I don't have to say like, Samsung, it already knows I'm talking about. I was already determined that I'm I'm interested in Samsung televisions. But now what it should do, it should filter out the response set and only return televisions that fit that dimension and should be also Samsung. So again, here we have a Samsung list of Samsung televisions, but these are basically the Samsung televisions that, that fit the dimensions that I recommended. So basically these are all 55 inch televisions. That, had, that fit the dimensions 50 by 30 inches. And again, this was a brief in a, in a, uh, demonstration on how to integrate IBM DB2 into NeuralSeq. And I also showed you how you can leverage IBM Watson X Assistant with the NeuralSeq. And I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much.